You can put your hand under the leaf. Oh, don't scare it too bad. Put the thing right in front of his head. Line the bottle up first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Switch hands. And Phil, I actually did touch it to have it go in. Aloha guys, Eric and I volunteered in helping capture koki frogs. It was only recently that these koki frogs are here on Oahu. I've always known to hear them on the Big Island, which the koki frogs first appeared there in the 1980s. Koki frogs are invasive because they eat many insects which outcompete our native fauna such as the birds and insects for food. They can populate in huge densities affecting the ecosystem and also their high decibel calls can be an annoyance to residential areas. This was my first time volunteering at night and also my first time seeing a koki frog. I didn't realize how small they are, they can just be a bit bigger than the size of a quarter. This volunteer event was organized by Dilanar and Dofa. Ryan Chang is the team lead of this koki capture project. We volunteered on Halloween night 10-31-24. We met at Waimanalo District Park and went through a briefing. Ryan and his team taught us how to find a navigational bearing using a compass which was pretty cool. Each volunteer was given a long tube with one end open and two to three Gatorade bottles, which is what we will use to store the koki frogs. Don't worry, the bottles have tiny holes in them. The Department of Agriculture was actually with us. At the end, they were the keepers of the captured frogs. We drove up towards Malka and began our night adventure. Yeah, so we just have to wait and listen. Is and the then, red light better? Um, it can be, but it's what it's more for your safety, so just make sure you're comfortable with whatever mm. light. Um, yeah, so... There's one right, right in front of us. Just, just listen. You hear that one calling. That one. It's not on the left. Right here. No, don't listen to that one. Listen to this one in front of us. Come, come where I am. No, you got, you got to really listen, yeah. That oh, one. Oh yeah, I see it. I hear it. You got to really focus on that guy. Yeah. Go real slow. Go real slow. Yeah. If you disturb mm. brush, it's gonna stop calling. Yeah. If you turn on your light, it may stop calling because it gets frightened. But it's, I think it's ground level and it's in, it's on the lawa'e, yeah? Mm, yeah, I so hear it. I'll, I'll slowly go up with you. Yeah, you kind of, you hear yeah, a general, like general idea of like where it is, yeah? Can mm -hmm. you picture it, how many feet it is like in front of you? Yeah, 10 feet. 10, 15. 10, 15 feet. Now yeah. we're slowly going to move up. We don't want to rush it. Okay. Because we don't want to disturb the thing and then it stops calling. So here, we'll go up slowly. It's going to be on one of these kind of things, I think. So, coming over here, you hear him? It's somewhere in here. In the no. No. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, right okay. here. You see him? You see him? Okay, wait. Right inside there. You see him? You see him? Right inside no, there. I don't. Right there. Right there. Oh, shit. Right there. Wait, don't move. Don't move. Come on this side. You see him? Yeah. You're going to have to brace on the back side yeah. of it, of the leaf. Yeah. And then you're going to go in with your tube on, on top. Oh. Oh, oh. it's moving. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's hold on. Like the leaf. I see it. Yeah. So it's behind me. Yeah, underneath. I know. I see it. Oh shit, it hopped. Where did it hop to? It went down. This is this is work. It's hard to catch them. They're all over. 
You got it? Yep. Sorry, I'm gonna record it real quick. Yep. Wow, second in like five minutes with some Eichel, man. Look at that. Third one for the night. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I witnessed two captures from you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Good one. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. fatty. Nice. Nice spotting, Phil. Right around here uh -huh. is like where they're traveling oh interesting they're yeah. like are they going higher yeah so we're oh. trying to limit the foliage that they can attach to in this area got it so they cut down all these trees and they cut down some more on this side um to basically try to stop them from traveling oh. so that's what the core is because there's a big concentration right here Got it. And that's why you can find them on the ground sometimes because after right after you clear, they're down low because you cut the trees down. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Put your, um, your two, catch the nose, like you gotta come up from the nose side, yeah. Nice. Where is it? Sealum. Haha, yeah, doggy. That's your that's your guy. No. Got it? Nice! Yeah! Nice. Nice. That's a big one too. Nice, good job. Good mama. Yeah. That's a good angle. That one, yep. That one. Don't focus on anything else but that guy. Okay? You're gonna move up. Follow me. Oh! 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 I saw it. It's over here. You got him. Well, you mo you you cut you most likely got it. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Nice. All right. Nice. Got one. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> It was heartbreaking to hear these koki frogs and just having to be here trying to capture this invasive species. I do hope that they can be eradicated just like how they eradicated them back in 2006 in Wahiwa. I do ask that if you hear or see a koki frog near you, report it ASAP by calling the state's pest hotline at 643-PEST or 643-7378. Mahalo nui to DLNR, DOFA, OISC, Department of Ag, and others in their efforts of removing this pest. If you're interested in volunteering in events like these, please visit the DLNR volunteer website. See you folks on the next adventure. Mahalo.